Hey, it's Sally here from the Thyroid Wellness Diet. So glad you could join me today. I wanted to give you an overview of the, the causes of underactive thyroid because so many people suffer from underactive thyroids. Many of us undiagnosed as well. So let's have a look at why we have such a big epidemic of thyroid problems on our hands. There's a couple of reasons that we know, um, you know, genetics obviously plays a very big part. So if you've got a family history of thyroid conditions, you are very likely to suffer from um, thyroid conditions, but there are some things that you can certainly do about that. The other reasons quite often is environmental. So we know that if there's high levels of toxicity, heavy metals in our environment, whether it be from when we were growing up or even right now, they do impact our thyroid. Thyroid is a very sensitive organ that does seem to pick up pretty much everything that's going on from our world around us. And yes, some of us are more susceptible to that based on our genetics as well. The other thing is diet. We know that there's certain things in our diet which actually hinder our thyroid function. So it's really, really important to remove those specific things from our diet and focus on a highly nutritious diet that's really going to help feed all the different mechanisms that our thyroid function uh, revolves around and reduce a lot of the inflammation that may be caused if our thyroid is under stress as well. And the last thing that's incredibly important to really focus on is your hormonal balance. So your thyroid is one of the endocrine glands, which is basically part of the hormonal system. If you have any of the hormones out of balance, we know that it's more likely then to throw your thyroid out of balance. So really, really important to not just look at the thyroid as one organ, but actually look at it as a whole part of the body and balance everything in the body. The last thing that's incredibly important is also stress. If you have a lot of stress in your life and you're not dealing with it well, we know that that impacts the thyroid as well as many, many other parts of your body. So it's very important to, to utilize you know, all of these components to make sure that your thyroid is going to be as healthy as possible and get them all under control together. I hope you've enjoyed the information today. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.